Shalom. I'm your brother Uramia from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you I say Shalom. Continue to sigh and cry unto your power. And just going into a quick lesson, you know, to continue to send up those uh, those prayers, which prayers means to beg. All right, continue to sigh and cry unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, so that we may be delivered up out of this captivity. All right, and, you know, we're in a similar situation, you know, to where we was at in ancient Egypt under the ancient Pharaoh. Uh, to where Yahweh Shem Shai, he heard our cry. All right, he heard our sigh. And he remembered his covenant, his promise with our, you know, our forefathers. And, uh, you know, here in today's time, you know, the only ones who's uh, sighing and crying, all right, or begging Yahweh Shem Shai to get us out of the circumstance is the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, furthermore, the hopeful elect of the house of Israel is the only ones Yahweh Shem Shai is hearing in this time. All right, and we're going to cover that a little bit uh, within this lesson. All right, so this is the book of Exodus, chapter 2, and verse 23. It says, And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and their cry came up unto the Most High by reason of the bondage. You see? So we were sighing and crying because of the hell we was catching in ancient Egypt. Similar to now, man. All right, constantly being oppressed. Constantly... Uh, being subject to payments, according to Baruch uh, 3 and 8. We are yet this day in our captivity, man. All right, and that's why we sigh and cry, man. All right, so the Lord can get us out of this circumstance, man. It's all a part of the curses um, that the Lord put on us as a people for being disobedient. And only the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, can get, you know, us out of this circumstance and uplift the curses up off of us. All right. Uh, but this is Exodus 2 and 24. It says, And the Most High heard their groaning, and the Most High remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Yeah, that's uh, that's that righteous seed line, all right, you know, stemming down to the people of Israel, the Israelites, and whom Yahweh Shemel Shai is dealing with here on the earth, his chosen people. It says, And the Most High looked upon the children of Israel. And the Most High had respect unto them. All right. You see, the Lord acknowledged us, you know, when we were sighing and crying unto him, you know, within our bondage. All right. He remembered us, man. He remembered his covenant, his promise. All right. No different in today's time, you know, where the hopeful elect is crying out. And we're going to read it right here. St. Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. It says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? You see, it's all about the elect. All right. That's who... Is going to be saved when Yahweh Shai, you know, returns here to the earth, all right, through the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Yeah, the elect we cry day and night, all right, start with his servants, the prophets. You know, we've been instructed through the Spirit, you know, to keep not silence, all right? As a matter of fact, we're going to read it. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen, which is the prophets, upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which is the Israelites. All right, his chosen people. Jerusalem, a people uh, before it's a place. Okay. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. All right. And that warning, okay, and that sigh and that cry constantly goes out, man, through the spirit. Day and night, man. All right, lessons constantly being put up, video epistles, man, okay? And, you know, even boiling down to, you know, within our, the privacy of our homes when we send up our prayers, which, you know, to pray means to beg, all right? It's constantly going up through the Spirit to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, keep not silence. And that's why you see, you know, videos being made every day. 
from the elder apostles and elder bishops on down a great millstone, you know, to the to the uh the least brother, okay, within the body. All right, but still very important that we continue, you know, to sigh and cry. Okay? Because we need the Lord to get us out of this circumstance. All right? It says and give him no rest, give the heavenly Father no rest until he establish, until he make Jerusalem a people before us a place a praise in the earth to the Lord set us up in power. Okay? And that's going to start with Yahweh Shai and the hopeful elect, the first fruits. Okay? It says, Luke 18 and 8, it says, And I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Avenge uh, the hopeful elect on who? Our enemies, man. Okay? This devil, Esau, Edom, man. He's going he's gonna to take the hopeful elect out of the hands of the enemy, man. Okay? It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. He's about to destroy Esau, man. Okay? It says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah, and that's through the elect who believe on Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, the just shall live by faith. Okay? As it reads in um, Habakkuk 2 and 4. All right? The substance... The substance of things hoped for, excuse me, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, believing on the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that it may be applied unto you. Okay, that you may be delivered. All right, so let's get into it. You know, the Lord is only hearing the hopeful elect in this time. Psalms 34 and 7, it says the righteous cry, which is the elect. And the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And that's how we know we're, we're talking about the remnant, the elect here. Okay, because when we read it here in St. John 9 and 31, it says, Now we know that the Most High heareth not sinners. Yeah, two thirds. The ones who willfully sin and don't repent. It says, But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, keep his commandments, okay, to the best of their ability. And repent when we go off and make that correction. It says, But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. So jumping back to Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry, the elect. And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And the Lord, you know, is about to deliver us out of the ultimate trouble known as the time of Jacob's trouble. And Jeremiah 30 and 7, okay? A uh, time like no other, all right? But we know that he, the elect, shall be saved out of it, okay? Because the Lord hears the prayers of his saints, man, okay? The Lord hears the prayers of the elect. And um, let me get this, because Yahabah Shemel Shai has a, a certain angel, you know, tasked with the purpose of sending the prayers of the saints up to him. Okay, this is Tobit 12 and 15. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers, which prayers means to beg, similar with cry. Cry means to beg as well, to call for help. It says, um, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. Furthermore, the elect, that's the only ones that Yahweh Shemel Shai is hearing. It says, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. So this specific angel, Raphael, sends up the prayers of the elect when we cry and we sigh unto Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, those prayers are sent, uh, uh, brought to the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Raphael. You see that? So meaning what? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is hearing us, man. All right, and how do we know that the Lord is hearing us? Look at the things that's going on in the earth. Okay, look at how Yahweh Shem Shai is moving prophecy in motion. Okay, you know, as it is written in uh, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and uh, I want to say verse uh, 14. Let's see here. Yep, St. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So you see, you know, because of this word and, and this truth being pushed, 
and the hopeful elect sighing and crying unto Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. What's happening? The end. The end of Esau Edom's rulership. All right, and with the end of Esau Edom's rulership comes the deliverance for the hopeful elect. All right, and the destruction. All right, to uh, Esau Edom. All right, reading this Jeremiah 16 and 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, that it shall no more be said, The Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, which is America, all right, which is his um, modern day uh, spiritual Egypt, okay, the house of bondage, according to Exodus 20 and 2. Okay, uh, Egypt means the house of bondage. Okay, it says, and from all the lands whither he have driven them, all right, across the four corners, all right, brothers is going to be delivered and beamed up in those chariots from America, where the bulk of the Israelites are, all right, the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he have driven them, from the four corners of the earth, all right, and this, this deliverance is going to supersede, all right, ancient uh, Egypt, you know, when we was delivered out of the hand of ancient Pharaoh. It says, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And why is that very important? Well, in Exodus uh, 2 and 23, we read how the Lord heard our sigh and our cry and remember his covenant with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, with us sighing and crying now, the hopeful elect and the Lord hearing us and the Lord bringing us that deliverance out of Babylon, the great America, and from the lands we've been driven to. Hey, the Lord is remembering his covenant, his promise with our forefathers once more. And he's about to fulfill it. He's going to put us back in that holy land that has been promised unto our forefathers, which we are the descendants, our inheritance. We're about to receive it, man. Okay. So just a uh, quick lesson through the spirit. You know, continue to sigh and cry unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, you know, so that we may be delivered man okay and the only ones who can sigh and cry and be heard and will be delivered is the elect so lord will us edify through the spirit i'm end up by giving all praises to yahweh by shem al shai call halayumla yahweh by shem yahweh shai by hashem rikakradash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and who rule well and shalom to you hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth to you I say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect.